is up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day nine of the dense program. We have a lower body workout in the books for today and we're testing our bent over row. So you're gonna pull up your numbers from last of the week. We have a five minute AMRAP. We're gonna to try to beat the number of reps that we did last week or increase the weight and beat the, uh, match the reps. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're starting off with 10 nice slow, nice slow body weight squats, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, 10 reps. Drive down, knees opening up. Then we're going feet together, we're going 10 toe touches. So pretty narrow stance. Reach down, try to keep those legs straight, 10 reps. Feel that nice stretch in those hamstrings and glutes. Now we're going into a reverse lunge down to the knee and rotate towards the forward leg. Feel a nice stretch down the hip flexor here. Back up, we're going three each side. Pause for a second as you rotate. Rotate, squeeze. Good. From there, we're going into three inch forms with a push up and overhead reach. So you're gonna walk out to a push up position, go down, reach overhead and push back up, walk back in. Keep those hands off the floor on the push, on the reach overhead. We're going three reps. Then we're going 10 internal, external overhead reaches. Rotate those palms down, rotate them up, press overhead. 10 reps. From there, we're going 10 big arm circles forward, 10 in reverse, and 10 crosses. Get a nice stretch. Get those palms facing out. Really try to open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades back in together. And then we're going 10 crosses. Try to just let those arms relax, loosen up the shoulders a bit. All right, team, we're jumping into our first circuit. It's a five minute density set of bent over rows. So just like last week, if you were here, we're gonna set five minutes on the clock. We're gonna do as many bent over rows as you can. So just a technique display, a bent over row, you need two dumbbells. Feet are closer together, slight bend of the knees. You're gonna push your hips back towards the wall so your dumbbells get to about your knees. And you're gonna do a double arm row towards your hip. Nice and slow down. You want your chest at about a 45 degree angle. Pull, squeeze, nice and slow down. Pull, squeeze, back down. If you want to choose a weight that you can start out at around 10 to 15 reps on the first set, short breaks are of course encouraged. You're never going to go for five minutes, so take short breaks after 15 reps. Set it down, rest just enough so you can knock out another 10 or so. As you get closer towards the end of the five minute mark, you will have to drop your reps. Early on in the set, you do want to stay away from failure. So stop a, shoot a few reps short of failure. As you get closer towards the end of that five minute mark, I'll let you know. Start to push closer to that failure mark and try to beat your numbers from last week. You should have them stored in the Train Heroic app or written down somewhere. Let's do it team. I'm gonna go with 40s. I'm actually doing this in advance, so I don't know what I got on week one yet. We got a 10 second countdown like always. Let's get ready to work. Let's see how you do. In three, two, one, and work. Pull back towards the hip and not the shoulder. I hit 
15, gonna take a short rest. Rest the grip, rest the low back. Couple deep breaths. You gotta hang in there for five minutes, so. Quality over quantity. So if you start to lose form here, team, set them down, take a little longer rest. 15, 20 second rest is okay. Especially early on. Should feel this in your upper back. A little bit of triceps, biceps, shoulders. We got three minutes, team. Start taking a little longer rest if you're finding yourself getting less than five reps. Two and a half, we're halfway through it. Really focus on squeezing those shoulder blades back in together. You wanna to feel this in your back. Upper back particularly, and in the lats. If the low back starts to get tired, you can prop your butt against the wall too. For a little bit of stability, and then pull. Under two minutes, guys. Take a little longer rest. My reps are starting to drop. Come on, team. A minute and a half. One minute, team. Start pushing it closer to failure now. Don't shy away from it. So let's push the envelope a little bit. We got just under a minute. I'm okay, girl. We're getting three to five reps of set now. Really feeling it. Now I got five. Rest, give myself 25 seconds to get after one more set. Last 25, team, come on. Really focus all your intention on those back muscles doing the work. Seven seconds, come on. Two, one, and rest for three minutes, guys. Keep track of the score in the trained heroic app or write it down on paper. All right, team, we're through our first circuit. On to our lower body work now. We got three minutes rest. I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're working with 40 second intervals here, 20 seconds of rest. We got three movements we're working our way through. 
A full 40 seconds of rest between each round. Our first move, we're doing a step through lunge on the right leg. So, dumbbells are at your sides. Um, left, left, right leg stays steady. Left leg's going back, letting the back knee kiss. Left leg coming forward, right knee kisses. So the pivot point is this right leg. We're gonna kinda go back and forth for 40 seconds. I'm gonna start light. See how it feels. I'll start with 20s and work my way up from there. So that's our first move with the right leg. And then we're going into pulse goblet squats. So you're gonna hold the dumbbell up here, tight to the body, elbows tucked in, feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out a little bit. Try to get down to your 90 degrees and then up, but you're never coming all the way back up. So I'm stopping just short of my legs locking out about right here and then back down. So you're staying in this kind of constant tension goblet squat zone. So it's a pulse goblet squat. From there, you get 20 more seconds rest, and then we're doing step through lunges on the left leg. So left leg is now the pivot point, the right leg moves for 40 seconds. Those are our three movements, 40 seconds for each of them, 20 seconds between each movement, and 40 full seconds rest between rounds. We got one minute of rest, guys, let's get after it. Catch your breath, try to get their heart rate down a little bit. Pick out your weight. I'm gonna go 20s on the step throughs. And I'm gonna go 25 on my pull squat. See how it feels for the first round, assess a bit. And if I need to go heavier or lighter, I'll change it up for round two. Try to get that heart rate down. Nice deep breaths in, between, in and out of your nose. Right leg stays steady on this first one. We got 30 seconds, team. Ideally, the back, the knee will kiss the ground very softly. So don't, if it's smashing, slow it down. If you can't get there, maybe drop the weight or go body weight. 15 seconds, team. Grip is gonna be a thing here because it's a long time to hold on to and we just did a bunch of rows. So really try to relax that grip as much as you can. Five seconds, guys. Right leg stays steady. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Let's work down, touch. Breathe.
10. Three, two, one. Press. Woo! 40 seconds of resting. We're back to the top. We'll run that back two more times. Ask yourself how that first set felt. That was pretty tough. Twenty seconds, guys. We're back to step through lunges. Right leg, staying steady. Nice deep rest. Let's try to get this work. Five seconds. Can you pick it up? Two, one. Let's work. Touch. Take your time. It's not about speed or quantity of reps. Quality. Fifteen seconds. Five. Three. One. Rest. Woo! Whole scalpel squat, team. Ten seconds coming up. Five, three, two, one. Let's work. The rest is okay, we need to rest. Try to get right back into it though, keep it short. Push, pull. Pulling down and pushing away. Pull down, push away. Knees over the toes. Three, one, rest. 20 seconds team. Step through lunges. Left leg stays steady. Right leg you're pivoting it over. Five, three, two, one, let's work. Ooh. Load on that front heel, push away. Take me back into your arms and I'll never let you down, let you down. Ten seconds, team. Come on. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Forty seconds, team. Come on. Let's run it back one more time. Twenty-five, team. Last round through, good quality reps. Let's push the pace a little bit here. You guys got a three minute rest coming up after this. Let's get this work. Nice deep breath, 10 seconds team. Right leg stays steady. Left leg is going back and forward and work. Slow, touch. Thirty seconds. You won't believe we had our way. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. Twenty. Keep forking. Fifteen. Nine. Come on. Two. One. And rest for 20. Just use my headphones. And that gets you my eye. We got 20 seconds here. We're going back to 
whole stop the squats. Apple is weird sometimes. Woo, come on. Three, two, one. Whole goblets. I'm back. Take your time in that mid zone. We're not pushing fast through it. Drive through the heel and the midfoot. Knees tracking out over the toes, so don't be collapsed or too wide. Think about your body dropping down in between your legs. Keeping all the tension on them. Woo! Eight seconds, team. Five, two, one. Rest for 20. 15 seconds, team. Left leg is the pivot. Right leg is going forward and back. Three minute rest coming up after this. Five. Pick them up. Two. One. Let's work. Come on team, 20 seconds. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. Rest for three minutes. Woo! We're on circuit C. guys. Circuit C, we got the exact same format. Four movements we're walking our way through. 40 seconds on, 20 off. If you have a bench, we're going to use it. We're going to start off with single leg hip thrust, right leg. So on the bench, you're going to walk yourself out. Your upper back is up midway on the bench, chin tucked down. You can also put a dumbbell on your hip. If you want to make it a little harder, heels are right underneath my knees. One leg is up in the air. Let the hip drop. Kind of find your position and then drive up. You can throw your elbows on there for balance. Nice and slow down. Squeeze at the top. We're going 40 seconds on the right leg. Then we are going to grab our booty band if you have one. We're going to throw it on. So, if you have a loop band, throw it over the top of the knees. After our thrust, you're going to go down. We're going to do a single leg kickback for 20 seconds uh, and then a hydrant for 20 seconds. Sorry, so we're here, right leg kicking up towards the ceiling. 20 seconds, heel driving towards the ceiling, knee stays bent. And then we're going fire hydrants to the side. So I'm coming straight out to the side. Modifications for both of these movements, if you don't have a bench, you can, without the band on, do a single leg hip thrust. So you're here, drive up and squeeze. If you don't have a band for the fire hydrants and the kickbacks, you can hook a small dumbbell behind your knee, squeeze it, and do the exact same thing. 20 to kickback, 20 to fire hydrant. Our four movements are right leg, right leg, we'll go back up to the bench, left leg, left leg. So, right leg thrust, right leg hydrant and kickbacks, left leg thrust, left leg hydrant and kickbacks. So we're attacking one leg back to back. This is a little bit more glute and hamstring focused circuit. Last one was a little bit more quad. Everybody good? We got 30 seconds of rest team. Let's get ready to work. I'd suggest doing the first round without any weight on the thrust. See how it feels and work from there. It can be a little hard to hold your hips flat if you're loading a weight. So get a, get a feel for it first, get a feel for your positioning first, and add weight on round two if you'd like. We've got 10 seconds, guys. Find your position. If you've got no weight, you can kind of cross your hands out like a T. It's probably the most comfortable position. Two, one, and work. Get your butt nice and low to the ground. Almost kissing if you can and then drive up through that heel. Hold 
20 seconds. Ten seconds, team. If you slide out of position, just reset. Take your time. Five, two, one. Rest for twenty. Throw your band on if you have it, or grab your small dumbbell. Hook it behind the right knee. We're gonna go for twenty seconds of bar uh, kickbacks, and then twenty seconds of hydrants. I'll tell you when. Three, two, one, and work. Please. Woo. Switch. Hydrants. Oh, this is a killer. Double back to back glute circuit. Take your time. Three, two, one. And rest for 20, team. Drop the band off. We're going hip thrust on the left leg now. Six seconds. Two, one. And work. Squeeze. hamstring pretty strongly. Left leg. Three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Put your band back on. Kickbacks on the left leg. Band goes right above the kneecaps. So right on top. If you have a band. Three, two, one. Work. Squeeze up. Kick backs for 20 seconds. I'll tell you when to switch. Three, two, one. And switch the fire hydrants coming out to the side. Resist on the way back down. Five, three, two, one. Rest team, 40 seconds. We're back to the top. Thirty seconds, guys. Woo! We're back to hip thrust on the right leg. Fire hydrants kick back on the right leg. 15 seconds, team. Eight seconds. Right leg hip thrust. Coming up, come on. Two, one. Let's work. I'm going body weight. My glutes are on fire. Get those hips up as high as you can. Squeeze that glute and hamstring. Butt get low, resist on the way down, and then drop. Fifteen seconds. Short break is okay, just make it short. Five, three, one, rest. Throw your band on. We got kickbacks and fire hydrants on the right leg. Five seconds, team. Kickbacks for 20. Two, one, work.
three, two, one, switch, fire hydrants, Woo! straight out to the side. Seven, two, one, press, 20 seconds team. We're going back to hip thrust, left leg. Ten seconds, guys. Five. Start setting up. Left leg planted. Right leg off the ground. Let's work. Drive through that left heel. Try to get that hip up as high as you can. This hip here. Squeeze. Nice and slow control. Squeeze. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Three. Two. One. And rest. 20 seconds, throw your band back on. Kickbacks, fire hydrants, left leg. And then we'll run it back. One more time, team, one more round through. Five, two, one, and work. Left leg, squeeze. Switch. Woo! Fire hydrants. Ten seconds. Come on. Seven. Five. Three. Two. One. And rest, team. Run it back one more time. Come on. Seconds, team. Last set of thrusters. You guys are goddamn champions. Training on a Friday. Let's go. Let's get this work in. 12 seconds, team. Deep breath. Focus all your intention on quality reps. Slow to the ground, squeeze it at the top. And work. Thrusters on the right. Try to keep that body square so you're not rotated over towards the left. Twenty seconds. If you need some assistance, you can plant that other heel out straight. Takes a little bit of weight off. Ten seconds. Woo. Five. Three, two, one, and rest, team. 20 seconds. Throw your band on. Right leg. Kickbacks, hydrants. Peaches are on fire. Woo! Five, three, two, one, and work. Squeeze. Switching in five, three, two, one. Switch the hydrants on the right. Five, three, two, one. Rest for 20. Last set of hip thrusts. On that left leg. Eight seconds. Five. 
two, one, and work. Fifteen seconds in. Woo! Everybody, move your body. Two, one, and rest. Kickbacks and hydrants on that left leg. Oh, this circuit is a grind. Ten seconds in. Two, one, and work. 20 seconds of kickbacks. Five seconds till we switch. Three, two, one, switch the fire hydrants. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Three minutes, team. We got one more really short circuit left, and we are out of here for the day. A couple minutes rest, although we may not give you the full thing here. All right, team. Today was a little bit more glute and hamstring focused. This last move is not leaving that out. We got 30 second intervals, 15 seconds of rest, two moves. We're starting off elbow right underneath our shoulder. Knees bent at a 90 degree angle, or hips bent at a 90 degree, and knees. It's a two part move here. So we're going 30 seconds, you're on your right side, hand on the hip. You're gonna push through this bottom knee here and drive your hip off the ground and a little bit forward. So you're coming up and forward. While that's happening, these le this leg is separating at the foot and the knee. So it looks like this. Here, up, squeeze, and then back down, nice and slow to the ground. Let that hip touch, and then back down. From the front, it looks like this. We're here, up, and I'm bringing my hips forward at the same time as I'm up. And that other leg is separating. You really wanna feel this down the side of your glute here and the glute meet. We're gonna use 30 seconds on the right side. 15 seconds rest, 30 seconds on the left side. 30 seconds rest between rounds. We're gonna run it back three times. We're gonna start in 30 seconds. We're not taking the full three minutes rest. Let's get after it, get out of here on a Friday. You guys are watching this on a pre-recording, so have a great rest of your weekend. I'll be back with you live on Monday. But we'll be on tomorrow, there'll be a workout tomorrow. 5 a.m. released on Saturday morning. 10 seconds, guys. We're starting out on the right side, knees bent. Three, two, one, and work. Oh shoot, I gotta press the tower. 30 seconds. I forgot, I'm kind of short. Nice and slow down. Those glutes should already be pretty fatigued and warmed up. You should be feeling that from those fire hydrants. Similar motion. 10 seconds, team. Bring it up and forward. Four, two, one. Rest for 15, we're switching sides. If you can't get the knee up, just modify to this motion and try to get those hips forward if it's too much to lift. Elbow right underneath your shoulder. Two, one, and work. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Five, two, one, and rest team. Thirty 
30 seconds. We're back on the right side. Two more rounds through and we are out of here. Nice deep breath. Ten seconds, team. Let's start setting up. Two, one, and it worked. Low back down to the ground. Make that muscle work as you're going down. Your guy, uh, day guys, day nine in the books. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll release the video at 5 a.m. so you guys can do the workouts whenever you like. We'll be back to our normal schedule next week. I'll be at a premier location. I won't be in the work studio, but I want to do it live with you guys. I have the opportunity, so I will be there. Have a great rest of your Friday and Saturday. I will see you tomorrow whenever you like. I'll be posted on the website. Thank you guys. Have a good one. <laughs>